Hi everyone, it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. The Catherine Pooler team has been having fun over at Stamp Nation this week using cover plates. So today this card that I'm going to share with you is going to be using one of those. I started off with a base of uniquely creative watercolour cardstock and then I got out my Catherine Pooler inks in the colours Orange Peel, Grass Skirt, Something Borrowed and Party Dress. I just kept blending and blending until I was happy with the amount of colour on my base. It doesn't matter if you don't have a smooth blend, if you have patches and stuff in there that's alright because we're going to spray it with water anyway so it'll all blend together in the end. Using my Ranger spritzer bottle I got that out and gave it a good spray of water until I could sort of see the colour mixing a little bit and then using my Wow Jewel heat gun I started to heat it so that it would dry and then just sprayed it some more until I was sort of happy with the amount of water that was on there and the effect that I was getting with the ink. In a video that Catherine did this week, I seen her use an acrylic block to pick up the ink and put it onto your background. So to do this, all you have to do is grab your ink pad, give it a good smoosh onto your glass mat, give it a good spray of water and then using your acrylic block, dab it into the ink and that'll pick up onto the block so that you can then just dab it all over your background. I gave mine a dry with my heat gun between each layer of colour so that I could see the colour building up on the background. I just love the awesome effect that this technique gives. Once you're happy with all the layers of colour and it's all dry, it's then time to get out whichever cover plate you want to use and run it through your die cutting machine. In this case, I used the Starry Night cover plate and once it was run through my machine, I just had to pop out all the tiny little stars. These little stars are great for if you want to keep them and use in a shaker card. Off camera using Copic markers, I coloured up a bunch of little rainbows and a couple of skates from the Let the Good Times Roll stamp set from Catherine's latest release, Forever 13. I thought I'd just play around with them on my base so that I could get a basic idea of where I might want to put them and what else I need to add. Of course it needed a sentiment, so I got out the Magnetic Messages set and using a piece of black cardstock, I added that into my Misty, gave it a bit of a rub with an anti-static tool and then using my WOW embossing ink, I stamped that magnetic message sentiment onto the cardstock, which I'm now going to emboss with some WOW opaque bright white embossing powder. Using white embossing powder on black cardstock is one of my favourite techniques for sentiments. I just love the way that it looks. Using an old piece of paper out of my Misty, I just folded it in half and then sat it on my bench so that I could tip the powder onto my stamped image and then easily be able to tip it back into the pot. If you don't have a good heat gun and you're wondering which one to get, I highly recommend the Wow Jewel heat gun. It is so good and it heats up so quickly. It just gives you perfect embossed images every time. I trimmed up the embossed sentiment just with a pair of scissors and then added some foam tape onto the bottom of it so that I could add it onto my card. I love using foam tape on my images and other pieces on my cards because it just gives that extra bit of dimension. Once all my pieces were taped in place, I got out my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive Glue and ran it all over the back of my cover plate die cut so that I could add it to a piece of white cardstock, leaving a slight frame around the edges. Well, me having a moment, I obviously didn't stick down all my images onto the card base before I put the glue on and put it down onto the white cardstock. I think I must have been playing with where I wanted all my images again and getting the foam tape ready but then didn't actually stick them on. So, you know, blonde moment, anyway. <laughs> I then got out my guillotine trimmer and trimmed it down to the right size. I usually use foam tape to add the panel down onto a main card base. So this one is using a side open card base and I've put about six pieces of foam tape on the back and then just stuck it down. You can never have too much foam tape, right? Am I right? No. Once that's all stuck in place, I'll then be going on to what I thought I had already done and stick down all the images. If you haven't already, totally go and check out the Catherine Pooler Forever 13 release because it is full of awesome fun stamps and dies. And these Good Times Roll images 
are just awesome. I love them. If you want to know which colours I've used to colour in the skates and the rainbows, just pop on over to my blog, www.ashleyscreations.blogspot.com and there is a picture in, I think it was my most recent um, CP blog post with all the colours that I've used listed. Now that all my pieces are stuck down and arranged on the card base, it's time to do my most favourite part of finishing off a card and adding on some sequins. Glue dots are perfect for sticking down your sequins. They adhere really well to the sequin and keep them in place. These ones are one of my most favourite mixes from Catherine, the Crater Lake mix. They are perfect for any cards. They give that beautiful bit of bling and finish off the card nicely. Well that's all for my card today. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.